Hey friends, welcome back to this channel and today in this video I'm gonna be sharing you a complete step by step tutorial to make this progress bar animation just using powerpoint. The complete file of the presentation is given in the description below. And by the way if you are new here, this is AMS, I am a final year medical student and I love talking about design, presentation, tech and many more stuff related to that which I'll be sharing on this channel. So stay with me till the end and let's get started. So first let's start with deleting all of this as we'll be designing the presentation on a blank slide and now we'll have to cover our slide with a rectangle go to shapes and select a rectangle then draw it over your whole slide then let's remove its outline and add a shape fill to it and now we have our background here now again go to shapes and search for a call out and I'm going with this one We'll click here and drag it by holding shift key. Alright, so now we have to make the progress bar. So again, we'll go to shapes and select the rounded rectangle. Drag it onto your slide like this. Let's align them here so we have some space for our contents as well. Right click on it and go to format shape option. From there, change the color to white and add a shadow to it. And I'm going with this first one from the preset shadows. Now again go to shapes and select this rounded rectangle. I'm inserting it here because this will show the progress of our progress bar. Now let's round these corners like this. Now again we'll remove the outline and I'm going with a darker color this time. Now we are almost done with some of our basic elements of our presentation. Now zoom out and by holding ctrl increase the width of the rectangle like this. So when you hold command or ctrl then you maintain the symmetry of the shape like we did right now. This stretches out the rectangle on both sides equally. Now hold shift on your keyboard. Click on the rectangle first and then the callout. Then go to shape format and from merge shapes select combine. This will create a cutout on your rectangle which will act like a mask for our numbers now let's add a shadow to our rectangle as well which you can directly apply from shape effects and this time i am going with the inner shadow and i'm doing this to match the shadow of our rectangle which we have applied on our progress bar now let's insert a text box here type all the numbers from 1 to 9 and including 0 at the end this time i'm going with a bold font ahoroni and increase the size of the text and to align the numbers vertically you can just make the text box thinner and make sure that only one number is visible through the callout alright now let's duplicate our number by holding ctrl and dragging it to the right side the one thing you have to do here is remove the zero from here and add it right before our numbers now the reason why i am doing this many times what happens is if the both text boxes are similar so they can change their places sideways instead of going in vertical direction so in order to avoid that we are changing the sequence of our numbers and now we have every element of our first slide ready so let's duplicate our first slide now what we'll have to do is simply select the rectangle by holding shift then select the numbers and drag them to the right side and throughout the process you'll have to hold the shift key so that everything goes in a straight line and now we'll stretch out our progress part adjust the roundness of it and here we go our second slide is ready so now duplicate our second slide again by holding shift select the rectangle and the numbers and drag them to wherever you want then resize the progress part there and adjust its roundness Again duplicate the slide and repeat the same steps ahead. Now it's time to arrange the numbers in the callout. Now move to the first slide. Click on the text box, hold shift and move them vertically. And I'm starting the numbers from 0. Now move to the next slide and, and I'm dragging both of the numbers here. Let's say at this point we have a value which is uh, about 65%. Now head over to another slide and we'll select a different value here. 
and now for every slide adjust the numbers accordingly and select the different values for every slide now again go to our first slide select both of the text boxes and right click on it and send them behind the rectangle now repeat this procedure to every slide so that only percentage is visible on our main slide now we'll add our content which i'm directly pasting from the slide i made earlier paste the same content on the second slide drag it upwards and i'm increasing the size of our first text and now select all of these titles and i'm pasting this on every slide now go to our second slide and we'll highlight the first text with a darker color now go to the third slide select everything and drag it upwards now let's highlight our third title as well and now we'll repeat the same steps for our next slides as well after that i'm adding some more descriptions on our slide and also this percentage sign next to the numbers once you are done with everything select every slide and from transitions tab select the more transition now start the slide show and now you can already see how smooth and attractive this transition is try this out in your next presentation and let me know what you think about this in the comments and if you haven't subscribed this channel yet do subscribe for more amazing contents and tutorials like this see you again in the next tutorial